Good evening. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> already messed up. Happy Wednesday. Right around the corner. Is everyone having a great week? I'm going to give you a minute to hop on and if you could say hi in the comments and tell us where you're from and I'm going to find me on Facebook so I can see your comments and respond back. Here I am. Facebook always wants me to uh huh Hi Tina, good evening. Facebook's always always wants me to watch Facebook on my TV. I'm not too sure. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um Please say hi in the comments and tell us where you're from. I am Barb with Farmland Designs. I'm an independent chalk couture designer uh, from Tempe, Arizona. And um, if you're watching us live, which is right now, <laughs> but you don't know that if you're watching it later, uh, welcome and thank you for watching. Um, please echo our video. Uh, that's a new word I'm creating or using in place of the S-H-A-R-E because uh, apparently Facebook doesn't like that word. Uh, <clears throat> and if you're watching the replay, type replay in the comments, say hi, um, tell us where you're from, and thank you for watching the replay. Thank you for watching us live, and if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. All right, so tonight we're going to do a project uh, for Teacher Appreciation Week, which is, I have it written down right here. It is May 3rd through May 7th. So the project tonight, um, I guess it's not specifically for Teacher Appreciation Week, but it's going to be a great gift for a teacher. Um, let me switch cameras. I haven't given you the temperature for today, and the husband's not ready. You know, every single night he's supposed to give me the temperature in Tempe, Arizona, and he doesn't have it ready, and I have to ask him. 71. 71 today, so it did warm up. Uh, just 70 miles north of here, I know they got uh, snow. Um, up by our cabin, they got a foot of snow, which is 200 miles northeast of us. Yeah, 200 miles. Uh, so down in the valley, it's still pretty windy, but we did warm up. Um, so anyways, this uh, transfer is called Teacher's Influence, <clears throat> and it's a 5 by 7 Let me show you a close-up there. The influence of a good teacher can never be erased. Cutest little transfer ever. And then it has this, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like a barcode, not a barcode, but a QC code or something. Um, little design piece. Uh, we're not going to use that tonight. So we're going to use our scissors and just cut on the cut line. It's a very cute piece, though. Um, hmm, maybe we will use it. We'll measure and see what we find. Okay, so I mentioned Teacher Appreciation Week because it's coming May 3rd through the 7th. And um, I think this would be an awesome gift to give a teacher for your grandkids teacher, your kids, teachers, your own teacher, um, whatever it may be. And we're also using our house cutouts, which come in a two pack. We're only gonna use one. They're seven inches. And 
The instructions from Chalk Couture, fuzz transfers well before use, wax before using, and these are one-time use, meaning that they're not erasable. That doesn't mean you can't sand them or paint them um, <clears throat> or anything like that. We're only going to use one. Uh, so I'm going to get the wax out here. <clears throat> And there's the neighbor dog saying hi, like they do every night. We must have a walker or something outside walking their dogs at this time. And that's what the neighbor dogs bark at. Okay, I'm only going to use one side, so I'm just going to wax on this side. And <clears throat> I am using a new neutral citrus shield paste wax and you can use any wax that you have in your workshop um, min wax and chalk couture also has a surface wax which is also completely awesome if you would like information on how to get this transfer and the house cutouts for the project uh, similar that we're doing tonight Type info in the comments and I can send you a link so you can check that out. All right, we applied our wax and now we're going to take our clean towel or my buffing towel and buff it out. And I like to emphasize the buffing part of the waxing because in the past I have put a layer of wax down and didn't buff and it clogged up my screen print silk screen silk screen uh, so we don't want to do that again okay next what we are going to do is tape off because we're going to paint we're going to paint with our chalk paste tonight and I am going to whoops oh boy Hold on a second. What did I do? Sorry, just give me a second. My cat was on my computer earlier and I had something up on my computer that's not there anymore. And I am guessing that she either deleted it. Oh, here we go. Hmm? Okay. So we're going to tape off the tip here. into a straight line and I'm going to use our black velvet and we're going to do some painting with our chalk paste so you can use our chalk paste directly from the jar and just paint it onto the surface However, I like to add a bit of water because it paints a little bit smoother that way. And you don't need much. And of course, it all depends on how dark you want the pigment of the color, um, how thick, how thin. Uh, you can do watercolors as well. So just mess around with it, and we're just going to paint the tip of the tip of our house here. Can you guys see that? I didn't. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to grab some from the top because it does need to be a little bit thicker. I put a little bit too much water in it. 
So let me dry this and I'm gonna put a second coat on. As you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments. Tell us where you're from. I'm Barb with Farmland Designs and I'm in Tempe, Arizona. Our house cutouts, they are wood cutouts. They're about an inch thick and they do have a natural uh, distressed look to them. Um, would you say that they're like whitewashed instead of painted white? Is that what I call it? Stained white? Okay, this is definitely much better. I needed two coats. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so tonight's project that we're doing, if you're just now hopping on, is we're making, we're using our teacher's influence transfer. And I am making like a teacher appreciation gift because it's coming up May 3rd, the week of May 3rd. Everything is in stock as of a couple hours ago. And if you'd like more information on purchasing this project kit, just type info in the comments and I can send you the link, the direct link to the, to the items. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. And the purpose of me taping is so that I have a straight line. Because I promise you I won't be able to paint a straight line. Let me just, yep. Okay, so for this one, I am... Clean my paintbrush real quick. Hmm? I'm going to make the eraser, and we're, I, don't you think this is a perfect color for an eraser? It is Couture Coral. Now, if you watched my live last week and we used this color, I called it Couture Teal a million times. I think my husband was getting frustrated because I kept calling it Couture Teal but it's Couture Coral. And I'm not gonna put as much water as I did with the black, just a tiny bit. Maybe we won't have to do a second coat. So water just helps you kind of paint it on. Um, and like I said, I think it just depends on how thick you want it to be. Yeah, this is, I didn't need much water at all. I just sprayed a tiny bit of water. So are you, can, what do you think we're making? Can you tell? Can you see it yet? We have the black tip. And now, oh, I said it earlier. This is the eraser. So I guess I gave it away. Let me just get the brush strokes out of here. And there's just a couple spots. Hmm? What? Okay. And let's get this dry. Are you supposed to you're supposed to peel the tape off before it dries, right? So it doesn't pull up the other paint.
And I want to make sure that this part is dry really well because I'm going to be putting a piece of tape over it. So then I need to line up this piece of tape with the roof. Oops. And Cam is joining us today. You can hear her snoring in the background. Let's see, did anything exciting happen today? I think I have this a bit crooked. There, that's, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, now let me make sure this is dry. I want to put another piece here. How about you guys? Anything exciting happened today? I think my day was pretty uneventful. Okay, so in the middle, we are going to use our bumblebee. And a touch of water. And then we're going to paint the middle. Welcome everyone. If you're just hopping on, please say hi in the comments and tell us where you're from. I am Barb with Farmland Designs and tonight we are doing a project for Teacher Appreciation Week in May. So what we're using is our house cutouts. You get two in a pack. And I'm painting using our chalk paste to make a pencil. I think I need a touch more water. It's just a little thick. <clears throat> so I've used a multiple, I've used multiple colors today. Right now we're using Bumblebee and Um, we've used black velvet, couture coral, and as soon as we finish this layer, we're going to be using our shimmer silver. So let me just give this a dry. And I think I'm going to do one more layer of the yellow. I also want to talk about my free VIP group. Um, if you're not part of our free group, please type VIP in the comments and I will send you a link. We are a very small group right now. We're brand new but we hope to grow and build a wonderful community of crafters and do-it-yourselfers. And the more people we get in our group, the more fun we will have. Wasn't quite dry. 
And that's okay because we're doing a second layer anyways. Yeah, the second layer definitely makes a huge difference. Really rounds out the color. Then we'll take the tape off of here and get this dry and do our last color. So do you see it coming together? It'll be a pencil when we're all done and we have this really cute 5x7 transfer. And since our houses are double-sided, um, you could even have your student write a little note on the back of the house for the teacher. Or you can do another design, maybe if they like flowers. Um, we have our March Club Couture Transfer that has a, um, has a bunch of flowers on it. You can put that on the back side or the teacher's name with our font transfers. Is it not straight? I don't know if this isn't going to be fun. Okay, my husband's telling me to tape up here, so we're just going to listen to him because we don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a good idea. He has a good idea. So we're going to tape both ends here. Okay, so for the, here at the top we have the eraser, and we are going to, you know, the pencils have the little, the little metal piece that holds the eraser. So we're going to use our shimmer silver. for the metal piece at the top of the pencil. Now I will have to say, experiment with the shimmers. Um, you don't need as much water to thin them out for some reason as you do the other chalks. And we're definitely going to have to use two coats of this. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of gray. 
because our shimmers have the the glittery glittery <laughs> glittery look to them and so i'm going to add a bit of sh a bit of st storm this is called storm just to add some solid color because the shimmer silver is very very glittery so that's why it's going on so thin so we'll just add some gray to it This is what I do all the time when I add colors to each other. I always end up having to make more than I need because I put too much of one color. Can you spray a little water on there? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I'm getting the color I want. I lost a little bit of sparkly and I wanted to make sure I had sparkly in there. This is for sure you're going to take two layers. As you're hopping on, please say hi in the comments. I'm Barb with Farmland Designs. We're painting a pencil tonight on one of our wood house cutouts. And I'm just finishing the last two parts of the pencil. And then it'll take us no time at all to get the transfer design onto our beautiful pencil. And then last but not least, we are going to use camel for the wooden part of our pencil. little tiny bit of water clean my paintbrush off so a recap on our colors we used couture coral for our eraser shimmer silver and storm for our metal band at the top, bumblebee for the pencil, and camel for the wood part of the pencil that we're doing now, and black velvet for the tip.
And I am going to do two, uh, it's not layers, it's called coats. Two coats of paint on this one as well. Okay, yeah, looks much better with the two coats. There we go. What do you guys think? Look at that. Let's get this all dry. We'll do another layer of wax real quick. And then we will um, lay our transfer down and finish this up. These are so cute. Um, they're so easy to make. Thank you guys for the hearts. The uh, Teacher Appreciation Week is May 3rd through the 7th. And like I was saying earlier, since these, are, these have two um, identical sides to them, finished sides, so on the back you could do another design, you could have your student write your teacher a little note. Um, you could put their name on it. So many different options. I just want to make sure it's really, really dry. And then we're going to wax. And waxing helps so that our chalk paste that we painted doesn't get pulled up with the adhesive from the transfer. It protects us from that. And if I already have paint or something um, down, I I don't really rub the wax at first. I kind of just dab. And then once there's a good layer on your surface, you can use your clean buffing cloth to buff it out. All right. Now we'll Buff it, and just to make sure we don't have any chunks of wax by accident. Okay. And my assistant has my fuzzing cloth, which is a good thing, because I probably would have forgot that myself. Here is the cute little transfer you were using. The influence of a good teacher can never be erased. I will also post a link to this project kit when I post the picture tomorrow, the finished picture. Um, and the links to the project kits that I add to my post, um, I don't put the colors of paste because people like to pick their own colors. Um, but if you need any information, just let me know and I will, um, actually when I post tomorrow, I'll just list the colors that I used tonight. So you have that as well. I'm fuzzing really well because I have this layer of chalk paste down 
and I don't want I don't want my transfer to be too sticky. And I'm just centering it as much as I possibly can. I'm centering it on the, uh, the square part of the house. Nope, that's crooked. Okay, that is good. All right. Get our air bubbles out. Make sure it's all lined out. You can see in the design that the word erased has those lines through it. And the word B is a little distressed. I like to point that out so you don't think it's an, it's a boo-boo. It's not a boo-boo. They're purposely done like that for style. Everybody loves the distressed style, huh? Okay, we're going to use black velvet for the words. And we squeegee off the excess and put it right back in our jar to use on another project. And we're going to peel and reveal. All right, let me dry this before I touch it because you guys know me, I'm an absolute hot mess. And the first place my finger goes is right to a piece of wet chalk paste. <laughs> and all this work we did is just ruined because I put my finger right on it. <clears throat> so let me dry this and I'll give you a close up. Okay, look at how cute this is. Oops, let me get it in the camera right here. Okay, there we go. Isn't that just adorable? Don't you think that would be a perfect gift for a teacher? So cool. All right, so that's our project for tonight. Again, tomorrow morning, look for the post that has the link to the project kit. Or you can type info in the comments if you'd like more information. Uh, if you haven't joined our, VI, our free VIP group, please type VIP and I'll send you that link. Invite your friends and family who enjoy DIYing. And I will be live tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope you guys have a safe and warm evening. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, everyone.